composting meaning making khad for your plants at home khad is also called as a fertilizer this is homemade organic fertilizer this is not only a gardening activity but a lifestyle sustainable for our environment and for our earth compost is an organic material that can be added to soil for healthy and happy growth of your plants making compost at home keeps your kitchen waste out of the landfills where they take up the space and contribute significantly to the release of methane a potent greenhouse gas in order to compost at home you can start composting with plastic as well as terracotta pots yes i brought them indoors so the first step is to fill up the bin with kitchen waste now the kitchen waste that you're using could be both cooked or uncooked food just avoid meat bone and chilies because that is not really great for the composting add this to the compost bin and then add a handful of coco peat now you can continue adding the kitchen waste to the bin daily the frequency of adding food waste actually does not matter you can do that daily alternate days or even weekly once in a while you can also add dried leaves dried leaves are a source of carbon if you can't do that you can also add this compost maker it will make the composting process smell free also when you do so remember to stir the decomposing waste with a metal or a wooden spatula this helps in aeration now repeat this process every 6 to 8 weeks your compost will be ready in 45 to 60 days the compost when it's ready it looks black in color dark brown in color you can take that out and air dry it within 2 days or so it will be ready to be used for your plants this part is for the people who are not convinced yet to take the burden of composting at home see when you composting at home first you wouldn't need to buy fertilizer for your plants this is homemade organic fertilizer secondly you're converting something considered as waste to something very useful fun fact more than 50% of your daily waste is organic it is vegetable peels scrap food from your refrigerator that nobody consumes so by composting at home you are not only saving that money that you would have spent in buying fertilizer you can also gift it to friends but also keeping the environment clean in the market you can find mostly two kinds of composting bins terracotta and plastic compost bin this one so terracotta is porous relatively cheap and easily available plastic on the other side is much more durable will last for years lightweight and convenient to use essentially both are similar in their functioning both of them you would notice have these holes for aeration the bottom is also it has a gap for the extra compost to move between tiers of the compost bin you can choose whichever works best for you for me i started with terracotta and then now i also have the plastic one see whatever you choose make sure even if it's a matka it should be at least 15 inches deep and there should be a bunch of holes for aeration when you keep piling the food waste it should create apt humidity pressure and temperature for decomposition the bins should have a wide mouth because this wide mouth will help you to churn to aerate this it is much more convenient than when the mouth is much narrower if your compost is too wet ideally whenever you add kitchen waste to the bin you should also add some amount of dried leaves or straws or even coco peat for example i stay in an apartment in a high rise i don't have access to dried leaves that often so i use coco peat instead this will help to balance the moisture the compost becomes too moist and start to smell foul when the water level or general moisture is too much in your compost bin the kitchen waste also has some amount of water in it it fills up the air pockets in the bin making the heap compact and eventually it becomes like a slurry a black or a brown slurry which slows down composting process and also it slows down the activity of the microbes that will be acting on the kitchen waste to make khad out of it also do give this a good stir every week i do that almost once in 10 days or a week you can use a stick a wooden spatula or a metal spatula anything that will do the job 
one more thing make sure there is nothing blocking the holes so there are two kinds of holes that any terracotta pot or plastic pot that you're using for composting should have there should be one on the side here on the wall and the second at the base these two are really important for air circulation and this will help to increase the rate of decomposition. If you're composting at home, sometimes too much smell could be a problem. Somewhat smelly bin is completely okay. See, it is a decomposition process, it will smell. But if it's unbearable, you cannot stand next to it, that means something is wrong there. In that case, see, you need to understand that kitchen waste essentially that we use is nitrogen, okay? Now, we need to balance that nitrogen with carbon. What has carbon? Cocoa peat has lots of carbon, dried leaves have carbon. So these sources of carbon, when they're mixed with your compost bin, it will help to balance the nitrogen out for the microbes. And this will reduce the smell coming out of your bin significantly. You can also add bokashi powder. This has inactivated microbes and bran and wheat powder. In this case, you can just put your kitchen waste and then every week just sprinkle a bokashi powder just a little bit every week. In this case, then you don't have to add any kinds of leaves or cocoa peat, anything. Just the kitchen waste and this powder. A problem I personally face when I compost at home is that sometimes it becomes too dry. If you add too many dried leaves or if there is not enough moisture in that case is when it dries up this will also slow down the compost composting process in this case very simple method take water and add that to your compost mix this is the only way to fix this problem if your compost mix is too acidic meaning on ph levels if it is too acidic then that will also reduce the decomposition process it is preferable that the compost is slightly on the acidic range but not too acidic. What are the things that can make your compost very acidic are oranges, lemons, any citrus thing, even chilies. Avoid them because if it's too acidic then you will not have the perfect compost. If you have accidentally put in any of these, it's completely okay. See, having few lemon peels is completely okay once in a week or twice in a week. But do not have like a kg of lemon peels dumped into your compost bin, that will not work out. Additionally, avoid using any kind of fish bones, meat bones, any kind of meat piece in the compost bin. Strictly only use vegetable products in this compost bin. You can use both raw material, the raw vegetables, as well as the cooked ones, it does not matter. The smell of composting is an invitation to insects and rodents. You may get rid of the odor, but pests plan on staying around for long. You can use a repellent spray for the bugs and insects, but honestly, I feel having spiders and lizards is completely okay. As for rats, you may need to increase the height. You have to place that on some height and then place some sort of a plate underneath the pot. This drainage plate will collect the water coming out of this compost bin. It is composty. You can use this for your plants. Mm -hmm. Apart from this, you might also see spiders, lizards, beetles. That's completely okay. These are insects that actually help in the process of making compost. So don't worry. If you're scared of them, just keep this compost bin away from your side and it'll be fine. To summarize, if you are somebody who has just started composting or you're somebody who thinks that you would want to try composting, here are my secrets for good compost that I've learned over a bunch of years. Make sure that you keep your compost bin in a humid and a warm space. This will accelerate the composting process. The microbes really like it. And your compost will be ready in no time. I hope these videos help. Do remember to follow us. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Everything you may need to prepare compost or resolve composting issues is available on the Garden Up store. If you like what we're doing here, do consider checking out our store. See you soon and thank you.